What's going on everybody? Physio Trader here. This is not going to be a live trade recap or a live trade or a trade recap in any way, shape or form. Today I want to talk a little bit about my platform and specifically Lightspeed and what I have started doing about a week ago and that is using hotkeys and so you know just and you know to to honor your time if you're looking for any review where i'm going to go over the trades or anything like that there will be no trading in this video i'm simply going to talk about my hotkeys my uh the setup that i have so for those of you who do not know already if you haven't watched some of the other videos i talk about my platform i talk about my computer setup and i i will actually make a new i've got a new macbook i trade on a macbook or actually an imac as well so i have an imac a desktop version of apple's computer and then I have a MacBook Pro, which is Apple's laptop. Um, Lightspeed can only, well, it actually can be ran on Macs. Uh, they do have a Mac version, an Apple version, but it doesn't work as well. And if you ask anyone who uses Lightspeed, they'll agree with that. So I do not use it. I actually do what's called bootcamp. And in using bootcamp, and I promise this will make sense in a minute, in using bootcamp, I actually partition part of my hard drive to make the entire computer use all of its functionality and capability to its most uh, running Windows uh, 10, which is the current operating system. It sounds like Windows 11 is gonna be coming out in a couple uh, months. And then also Apple. In order to switch between the two, it's not like Parallels. I used Parallels before and it was not working to my satisfaction. Um, I know other people use Parallels and they use it without issue. For me, I didn't need it. When I'm running my business, uh, I can do it, it's internet based. So I don't need the ability to run both simultaneously. Simultaneously, I found it to just, you know, burn more CPU usage and just take more uh, time a little bit more on the, the computer, the MacBook, the fans are running egregiously, it was just harder for it to work. Now with that being said, um, I do use the, uh, when I do use the um, the bootcamp version, which is completely free. If anybody who's a Mac user, you probably are familiar with what I'm talking about. Um, and I use, what the reason I'm telling you this is I use Apple's keyboard. So I use Apple's keyboard. Um, I used to use a trackpad and I used to use a mouse and now I'm using the Logitech MX3, the Master 3 or whatever it's called. I really like it and um, and that it's just, it's, it's so fast. It's so fast, I've never had a lag where I've actually had a lag with the uh, the mouse working every once in a while by using apple native products in windows version it doesn't work so uh, i also found that the keyboard it would connect but every once in a while i would try to click a button it would be a little slow and so i never set up hotkeys i have found out since and i've done this for probably about three months and i found out that as long as i'm tied in with the lightning cable usb plugged in there's no lag whatsoever so i have found so if you're somebody using apple products and you're st and you're using your trading platform um you might want to connect it into you might want to connect it into the the usb and just keep it plugged in which kind of stinks but um I, I don't really care uh you know at least when i'm trading i'll plug it in when i'm not trading i don't need the immediate execution speed i don't really care and then i will uh, you know unplug it for the rest of the day uh, or, or so on and so forth. But, you know, just wanted to make that very, very clear. Now, let's get into the platform. So, looking over here at the platform, again, just have one of my Lightspeed um, keys up, one of my, you know, windows up. It doesn't matter. You don't have to look at this. I already went through a, a trade recap, SPCE. I was looking for a break around this number. Um, it, it finally broke through, but it, it was no longer of interest to me. If this one has come down here, I, I might be interested. But again, this this is not really designed to be a, uh, a trading video. This is designed to be more or less a um, you know, about hotkeys. So once again, I'm using this mouse and this mouse has allowed me the opportunity. One of the things I really like about this mouse is it got it has a vertical wheel. Let me kind of show that again. So we have the horse or the vertical wheel like normal, but we also have this uh, this wheel here, and that wheel, um, or at least with light speed, and that wheel, you know, by by zooming in, the standard uh, mouse wheel allows me to zoom in and zoom out. This other wheel it allows me to scroll up and scroll straight down, which I've actually found to be very, very useful. For that alone, I have really enjoyed using this mouse for light speed. I don't even know how this happened or it this, I don't know if that was the intentionality of it, but I like it because uh, the only other way you could scroll down, at least to my knowledge before, was to basically pinch and zoom. And then, you know, I don't want to pinch and zoom. I don't want the whole thing to be, you know, 
too big or too small. Every once in a while, I'll do that. I just want to go straight down. And this has been, you know, awesome, totally, totally awesome. So um, if anybody ever sees me doing my videos, that's because I'm using this mouse that allows me to do it. I have not found any other, you know, mouse articulation that allows me to do it. But I digress. Let's get into the let's get into the uh, hotkeys. So if you are, uh, you know, using if you are using Lightspeed, you're going to come over to Utilities in the top uh, ribbon, click Configuration Settings, and actually let me let me kind of redo it over here because that's where the window is. So right up here, Utilities, you're going to click Configuration Settings, and then these boxes are going to show up. Now, with these boxes, what you're going to do is you're going to click uh, the Custom Orders. You're gonna click the custom orders or you can click the keyboard if you'd like. Um, but if you don't have the custom orders made, you're gonna to need to create those custom orders. Now for me, I have um, a lot of things you'll see are repeated. I have buy and sell orders. Now everybody, you can make whatever order you want. So for me, a couple things, I wanna make it very, very simple. Now, to be fair, I'm not a video game player. This is not something where I just love to like smash buttons on my keyboard or you know a computer uh, program or anything like that. So I, I tried to do something mentally which worked very, very well for my mind. And that was I wanted the buys to be one button every single time. Every time I want to buy something, I want it to be one button. Control. For me, it's control. Um, and every time I sell something, I want it to be one button that is separate so that mentally I know if I'm trying to buy or if I'm trying to sell, I want to be, you know, standardized one button. So every time I buy, I hit control. Every time I want to sell, I'm going to hit shift. For me, shift made the most sense because shift starts with an S and so does sell. That is as stupid as it gets and that's just how my mind works. So all of these that say buy, I'm going to order these by clicking control and something else. Not just one button. You need it to be at least a combination of two. Some people do three or four. That's crazy to me, but you know, to each their own. Everybody's got their own thing. Maybe you're like really, really fast at this stuff. Um, but for me, it, again, simple is better. I'm stupid. I like to act like I'm stupid and treat my brain like it is stupid. So anytime I'm clicking buy, buy on the ask or the bid. These are two separate uh, buttons, buy on the ask or the bid. Again, you can see I'm buying 100 shares on the ask, buying 100 shares on the bid, buying 200 on the ask, 200 on the bid. I have this going all the way up to 300, 400, and then 500 on the ask and the bid. And then of course, I have, um, these were just kind of pre-made uh, from Lightspeed. And then I also have sell equally 100, 100 on the ask, 100 on the bid, 200 ask and bid, three, uh, four, and five. Now the other thing that I have uh, added since then was I actually have what you can see over here. I don't know why it does that, but I have cover 25, 50, 75, and cover full. These are, if I was shorting something, I wanna cover 25%, 50%. 75% or 100% would just be to, to close out of the position right now. Um, or um, to sell 25%, to sell 50%, to sell 75 or to sell the full position. Again, if I'm clicking the buy button, I'm always clicking control. And if I'm clicking the sell button, I'm always clicking shift. From there, everything else is going to be different. Now, since they're already made, um, let's just go to here the buy on the ask. What you're gonna do is you're going to first edit the command. Well, you'll come over here and you'll have to actually create the command. Um, so actually, so we don't mess with mine. We'll say buy 50 ask. So buy 50 ask, we're gonna create a new command. Um, right here, I send everything to the NASDAQ, so the market. You can click primary market as if you don't care, or if you want it to go to a specific market, like I, you can see on my window, everything says NASDAQ, and SDQ. then that is how I roll. So there, I'm going to buy versus sell. Since we're buying, we're gonna keep it on buy. Limit, you can click this to market, market, limit route, whatever you want. Um, so I've got this set on limit, visible. I'm gonna buy 50 shares, I don't need to be a hidden you know, I'm, I'm not some whale. Um, 
So right here, visible um, through, which means how much slippage am I willing to get? So if I see right now 47.20 on the bid, um, do I want it to go lower? Maybe it goes up to 47.23. Do I still want in right away? If you do, if you want it to go up by, you know, by one penny, then you'd click up you know, you'd go through one penny, meaning it would be able to buy right now 47.40, it would buy at 47.40 or 47.41. You can put five cent slippage, you can put whatever you want. What I do is actually the opposite. I go down, I go down by one penny. And the reason for this is, is that with Lightspeed and most brokers that charge you commissions, if you, um, if you are charged uh, commissions, for taking liquidity or charge commissions for using the platform, you're also typically charged ECN fees for taking liquidity. If you have your, basically if you have your order wait and it doesn't execute immediately, then at that point you would be what's considered adding liquidity. And by going one cent below the bid, I actually have to wait for that price to go down one more penny for me to get struck, which means that I almost always add liquidity, which actually doesn't, it. It adds up. Like uh, yesterday, I looked at my commission fees, and based on my ECN fees and based on my commissions, I actually only cost instead of being ten dollars, it only charged me four dollars for commissions just by adding liquidity by waiting a second. Now, if this doesn't go all the way down, and or if this doesn't go down, and you really were buying at the very very bottom, well, you're gonna miss the trade, but congratulate yourself for being so darn good that you actually were about to buy the bottom. Um, from there, uh, tiers, if you have position sizes, you can click tiers. Uh, I don't have tiers set up, everything's set to one. I don't mess with it. Um, this is the big thing that most people mess up. Close out. If you're buying, if you're buying 100 shares and you're short, do you want it to close out that full position? It, if you don't change it, then it, it won't, um, you know, a lot of people, they, they just click close out and say, yep, if you could have, you know, 500 shares, if you click the buy 100, it'll close out your full position. It'll actually buy all, all 500, even if you're short 100 and you only want to cover 100. So what you have to do is for me, I'm trying to buy 50. I'm going to put my quantity is 50. And if that's if you have a position already open and you're looking to close it, nope, I just want to close 50. If you do not have a position, how many do you want? I want 50. That is that easy. Um, and then from there, you just click map key and then you can find out what you want. Like I said, everything buy, so you see it has a control and everything for selling, you'll see the little shift key over there, uh, which says I am going to sell. Um, that is my order entry window. So uh, let me let me make sure I kind of erase that because I, I don't want that hot key. Yeah, I don't want that. So that is the order entry window. That is how I'm running the hotkeys. Okay, so now um, let me just pull up a window so you can see. So right here, I have here, let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, so here is a picture of the Apple keyboard, the Magic Keyboard. This is exactly what I am looking at down here. So like I said, I'm plugged in, so I'm USB'd in. So right here, we have um, the command key would be like the Windows key. If, uh, if you're using like a, a standard Windows based keyboard, if this looks familiar or, you know, abnormal to you or, or kind of like foreign to you, um, control is the control option is like the alt key uh, for uh, Windows based users. So like I said, anytime I want to buy, I'm clicking control. Anytime I want to sell, I'm clicking shift. So for me, I have my... Um, I have my index finger on control and my middle finger on shift. And so when I want to buy, smash that middle or that uh, index finger. When I want to sell, I'm hitting that shift very quickly. So just toggling left hand back and forth. Now that leaves my right hand to do everything else. Now I understand that I actually did set these up so that it could do it all one handed, but just the way my stupid mind works is that I, I want it to be as simple as possible. So I did set them up all on the left side of the keyboard for that reason, but it just so happens that it, um, it, it just so happens that that's, you know, kind of how I set it up. Now from there, 
I showed that I had buying on the bid and buying on the ask. Anytime I buy on the bid, I'm gonna go to bid minus one cent. Anytime I'm buying on the ask, I'm going to ask plus one cent. And that is just so I can, uh, you know, potentially make some liquidity, although it does unfortunately leave me in the, the dust sometimes when I'm trying to, to get into a position or close out of position very, very quickly. But again, if you're trying to buy at the bottom and sell at the top, then uh, you might lose on the trade, but kudos for you because that means you have good vision or at least you got very, very lucky. If you have, if you do it all the time, then forget about the one cent, take the, take the ECN fee and go from there. Now for here, for me again, control buy, shift sell. Um, when I want to buy 100, I click one. When I want to buy 200, I click two, three, four, and five. Again, for me, that's how I make it stupid proof. Now, at one point, I had it, the ones through the fives were to buy on the bid, and the F1s through F5s were to buy on the ask. The problem is, is that for native Apple keyboards, in order to click the function buttons, you also have to click the FN, bun the, the FN button, the function. And so with that, that was, you know, I saw that as another button I had to make sure I clicked or else I'd just be brightening up my screen or dimming my screen. These are the, the bright, bright and dim your screen, brighten up and dim your screen. I wouldn't want to be trying to buy or sell something and all of a sudden my screen just keeps disappearing on me. Problem one. Problem two is on my laptop I have that touch bar, which means this entire bar doesn't exist. That it's like a digital display. I want a physical button. If I'm doing a hotkey, I want a physical button. So what I did in turn is I just pulled it down one. So now I have my bid Q100, W200, E300, R400, 5, uh, or T500 on the bid. On the ask, they just, everything got pushed down one. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll be honest, in the first couple days, I had to sit there and count. I go one, two, three, or I'd say, okay, I want to get in 300. I'd go one, two, okay, on the E. And then I'd have my finger kind of there ready for the, the buy or the sell, uh, which coincidentally I did today when I was actually shorting SPCE for 300 shares. I clicked shift, I clicked three, I shorted, and then I clicked control Q because I bought, bought, bought. So I went shift three, I shorted three shares, and then control Q, Q, Q. Um, I basically held the control button down and was just Q, Q, Q. And that's how I got out of that position. So that is my hotkey setup. Um, I do actually have a couple more hotkeys that have nothing to do with trading or, or one of them is um, I click alt zero and that just cancels out every order I have. Uh, basically, um, I don't use that for anything other than when I'm shutting down the platform at the end of the day, I click alt or in an Apple's keyboard lingo, that's option, alt zero, and then I cancel out my my uh, my orders and from there, uh, basically all of my orders are closed. So that's all I've got for you. If you have any questions about um, any questions about these order entry windows and how it works, you know, please uh, feel free to shoot me a, a question out in the comment section. Like this uh, video, if, you know, smash that like button if this has helped you out. Um, especially if you're a Lightspeed user and you're using hotkeys or not, you know, let me know. Maybe you have other recommendations that are better. Always love to hear, you know, good constructive uh, feedback and criticism. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already done so, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the channel, and I will catch you all next time.